Hello, uh, today I'll talk about uh, zero GPU spaces uh, on Hugging Face and I'll show and explain how I'm using uh, uh, zero GPU uh, space uh, through API uh, to run Vision uh, LLM model uh, to process uh, documents. So here you can see uh, our private space, uh, Sparrow Q1.2, uh, which I'm using to run uh, Q1.2 7B uh, Vision LLM uh, on uh, zero GPU and uh, I'm using it for the development purposes uh, to execute tests uh, with Sparrow to see how well it works on uh, various complexity of documents and uh, it works well and it's the, the quota which given by Hugging Face for zero GPU is uh, uh, so far uh, perfectly enough for my development efforts and quite happy how zero GPU works so I thought uh, let's uh, share it with you folks and uh, hopefully it will be useful for your own uh, infrastructure as well so uh, firstly when you uh, in order to run uh, hugging face space on zero GPU it must be created with uh, Gradio uh, docker spaces are not allowed to run on uh, zero GPU at least for this moment and uh, yeah when you create uh, a zero gpu space uh, you must uh, you must uh, be hanging face pro subscriber uh, which costs around nine us dollars per month so it's almost nothing comparing to what uh, benefits you get uh, specifically with zero gpu when you're able to run a request on 800 gpu to to process the request and get, get the result. And you can do that not only through the UI, but also through, through the API. And when you create uh, zero GPU space, you also can enable dev mode. And uh, in dev mode, you can connect uh, to this um, space instance through SSH, for example. Uh, if you run, want to run execute, if you want to execute commands uh, through SSH on that machine, or you can connect uh, through the web browser through VS Code uh, to the source code that is uh, committed uh, into the repository which is associated with this uh, space. So, for example. I can edit uh, a uh, Python script here directly and uh, I can commit the changes or even uh, say I don't need to commit, I just save and then I could go here and uh, uh, restart the uh, space which uh, runs very quick and then I could uh, immediately test the changes. Uh, also I could push uh, uh, any changes through source control and uh, those changes will uh, appear under the uh, space uh, files uh, repo as, as expected and uh, we have this git status here which uh, shows that currently all files all the changes were committed and there are no uh, uh, uncommitted uh, files and as I said that uh, to speed up the process, you don't need to commit every time, you just save the file and uh, under dev mode status you restart the instance and you get uh, access and you execute the latest code which is not committed yet into the repo, so which is very, very useful. And then uh, over here uh, we have option to uh, access the space through API and this works for the zero GPU spaces luckily and for the private space as well. Uh, when executing this API command you just need to provide a hugging face token in advance uh, it must be set into the, uh, the session uh, into the terminal from where you are executing the API uh, command and then it will communicate to the space and it will tell that uh, you are the uh, valid user and request will work uh, out of the box. So let's see how it works and let's go to the uh, Python environment and in Sparrow parse uh, in order to be able to test uh, Q12 uh, original model I need to run it on GPU and I'm using uh, zero GPU from Hugging Face to execute the tests and what I created, I created uh, certain uh, factory architecture where 
uh, based on the flag uh, sent through the API, I could decide either I execute model on, uh, for example, Hugging Face GPU, or um, it could run locally on local PyTorch with ML MLX, for example, or in the future with uh, VLLM, for example, I could do local inference, or uh, in the future, if um, uh, Vision LLM from Q2 will be supported on Llama, then I could run it uh, locally on Llama. But for now, I'm executing tests uh, uh, on uh, Hugging Face GPU instance, which is the private instance, and I have uh, full control over uh, that instance, uh, which concerns the data privacy. Uh, okay, so I got here inference factory and the sparrow parse and they said that based on the flag either execute at the moment either the for the hugging face gpu or for the local it's fine and uh, there's the inference base class which uh, defines abstract method inference which is uh, implemented uh, in the classes where we extend from uh, from this uh, abstract class this is either uh, hugging face inference or uh, local GPU inference. And under Hugging Face inference, uh, we implement the abstract method, and here we are using API to connect to the Hugging Face space, and we pass the uh, Hugging Face token here, and uh, token is uh, uh, set uh, on, on, on a common prompt under current session, and uh, uh, it's being uh, connection, secure connections being made this way. And then we call uh, through the Hugging Face Spaces client API predict function. We pass the image uh, using the uh, handle file uh, API method again from the Gradio. And then we pass the text in input, which is the query uh, that we want to execute or prompt. And we pass the function name uh, run inference. This is the function name under my Gradio application responsible. Uh, to run under zero GPU and execute the inference with Q12. And then we uh, process response to clean, we clean it up and send it back to the client. Right, and the code that runs on um, Hugging Face Space instance uh, is located here under infra. This code is not executed, it's just for the backup purpose. It's the same code uh, which is located under uh, Hugging Face uh, Zero GPU Space. And if I open it, it's kind of fairly standard uh, Gradio code. And here I got this, this run inference method, which I was uh, a moment ago, I was showing that I'm calling this method from Gradio API client. And this annotation uh, spaces.gpu, which uh, instructs uh, hugging face spaces uh, runtime environment that whenever this method is invoked, we expect uh, to use a GPU instance from, from the pool, uh, from the zero GPU pool. And here we construct a request uh, uh, compatible with Q12 Vision LLM. And we execute inference here, get back the result, and we are we cleaning up uh, the file which was uh, uploaded to the uh, Hanging Face space. So we clean it up for the privacy reason. We don't keep the data which was uploaded to the uh, Hanging Face space. Right, and uh, then under VL VLLM extractor, this is uh, uh, Sparrow Parse API uh, entry point where all the requests uh, related to the Vision LLM uh, will be processed. Uh, Q12 or maybe um, uh, uh, Llama 3 uh, or any other models uh, will be handled by VLLM extractor uh, based on uh, parameters that are being passed uh, uh, to the run inference method. Right, and what we have here is run inference and a method which is responsible uh, based on uh, uh, whatever factory class uh, is being returned based on the parameter, uh, like hugging face with Q12 or any other configuration is responsible to execute the inference here and get back the result. Yeah, the token, uh, hanging face token we are reading from the current session so that it's not exposed uh, in the code and uh, there's no risk to commit the token value by mistake to public git repo, for example, here. Then we pass the image 
uh, bonds table and we pass the query to retrieve financial instruments data and we instruct Q12 to return back data in JSON format so we don't need any intermediate um, solutions to instruct uh, LLM to return JSON like uh, instructor or any other uh, any other frameworks and then we run the inference here and get back the result so let's see how it works let's uh, execute the request and we for the debug purpose we print out uh, here information that is sent to the uh, to the endpoint we send image and text and uh, as we see here we successfully connected to hanging face uh, spaces zero gpu instance and this is the actual uh, file that was sent uh, for the processing this is the uh, financial instruments table and we try to extract all the columns from from this table and now for a moment if we switch back uh, here we can see that one instance of the zero gpu is running uh, around 20 gigabytes used and it seems executed and then if we check the logs we can see that uh, q12 uh, model checks put checkpoints were successfully loaded that's good and if you go back we can see the result and if you ch check the first one for example we see that correct instrument name is being returned then we get uh, quantity currency uh, closing price uh, purchase price uh, profit then valuation and finally uh, the weight uh, of this instrument in the portfolio is also correct. So uh, my point was to show you how it's easy to use um, Hanging Face Zero GPU instance, uh, the private one. Uh, you could use also the public one if you want. In this case, I'm using the private because it's just for my own tests with the Sparrow. And uh, I'm able to use and access 800 GPU for my let's say simple test to uh, see how Q12 works with uh, var uh, various types of documents it's very easy and uh, using the uh, factory class factory implementation on the Sparrow parse it allows me to be generic so I'm not really attached to uh, hanging face space and I could uh, with the same solution uh, with different parameter I could use another factory class and execute inference for example locally on MLX uh, if I want or or uh, on VLLM or whatever other solution uh, which would run on local infrastructure so thanks for watching and see you next time bye